Hey there, it's Mrs. Croft again. I'm so excited about today's lesson. I hope you've been having a good week. And just a reminder, I am a second grade teacher at Early College Prep at Loman Hill, and I am one of your math teachers this semester. If you haven't been watching the videos, welcome. I'm glad that you're here, and I hope that you continue to watch with us and learn new things every single day. So we are in Mod 1, uh, Lesson 6. And this is our objective today. Uh, we're learning to subtract single digit numbers from multiples of 10 and 100. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 100, 200, 300, 400. So uh, just the tens and the hundreds right now. And you'll know that you've succeeded when you can subtract the ones from a two digit number by taking out the 10. So we're going to do something new today that's going to really help us with subtraction of two digit numbers and make it super easy. Our vocabulary for this lesson as multiples is one of the words, the same number added more than once. So here's our picture. These are multiples of 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 10 is 30 plus 10 is 40 and so on. So it's the same number more than once. We also call it skip counting. It's repeated addition, but it's also multiplication. So we're getting you ready for multiplication. Decompose is the next word and it's breaking apart. And this number bond over here shows us that when we take out a 10, we're actually breaking it down or taking part of it out. And the last one, of course, is our number bond, the three parts numbers that all relate to each other. So we're gonna deal with all of these in today's lesson, but first we're gonna do some fluency. So I'm gonna say a 10 subtraction sentence, a fact, and then you're gonna say it with the answer. So for instance, if I say 10 minus nine, you're gonna say 10 minus nine equals one. <clears throat> so 10 minus five, and you say 10 minus five equals Five, that's right. 10 minus two. You say 10 minus two equals eight. Good job. Some of you might be thinking right now, hey, this is just like that lesson where we did I say, you say. So I say nine, you say one. I say five, you say five to make the 10. 10 minus six, you say, 10 minus six equals four, that's right, that's the missing partner. 10 minus seven, 10 minus seven equals three, good job. You know what, we could do the reverse and say three plus seven equals 10. All those numbers in that number bond are part of the family, they're all related, and you can add and subtract because that's the opposite. Don't forget, the opposite of addition is subtraction, and the opposite of subtraction is addition. They go together. 10 minus three, last one. 10 minus three equals seven. That's right, these are the flip-flop facts right here. All right, let's get right into things. When we're talking about taking out a 10, we have a number bond with the whole, and the parts. And we're gonna take out 10 of those and then put everything that's left over here. Now it could be an even 10 since this had a zero in it, but if there's some ones, everything else is gonna go over here and we're just taking out the 10, you'll see. So if we look at this and we see the sentence 10 minus nine equals one. If we drew the circles for it or the chips or even with a wreck and wreck, and we take off nine of them, we can see that one is left, okay? So when we draw it out, or we get a visual, or we use a rec and rec, or if we use um, base 10 blocks, when you take out those, you see what's left, which is one, okay? Now let's look at this. Taking out the 10 makes it easy because we know our 10 facts really, really well. So with this 20, minus nine equals 11. We are gonna take out a 10 because it's easier to think of 10 minus nine than to think 20 minus nine. And then you're counting back from 20 and it just takes a lot longer. We know automatically that 10 minus nine equals one, that's right. So when we take out the 10, we get this. 10, this 10 right here, minus nine equals one. We know that. And then we still have this other 10 that's left over here. So we're gonna add this 10 
to this one that's left and just put it back together and get our answer, which is 11. We're going to do a lot of these, taking out the 10 and then subtracting these numbers right here. I, I don't know how well my, my pen works in my steady hand, but I'm going to circle it. This right here is exactly what this is right here. <laughs> okay, so we're taking that and then this 10 right here is this 10 right here. Okay, so let's go on and do a few more and I think by the end that you will get a really good idea. This over here also shows the tens and ones. So let's look at this one. 30 minus nine equals 21. Well, most of us just don't know that right off the top of our heads, but if we take out the 10, it makes it easy. So you have three tens right here. 10, 20, and then this one we separated or decomposed it into 10. So we took this 10 out and made it one so it would be easier to take away this nine. So we have that 10 minus nine and we get one. Well, we still have these two tens. So we have to add those two tens right here, this 20, back with that one that we got when we took out the 10 because it was easy and we get 21. Okay, let's look at the next one. <clears throat> excuse me, when we're looking at 40 minus 9, the easy thing to do is take out a 10. So if we take 10 away from this 40 and we subtract the 9, we have 1. Every time it's 9, you know the answer is going to be 1, but that's not our end answer, is it? Or is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. Don't let me trick you. Don't let your brain trick you. We still have some left because this is not 40, this is 10 we still have 30 left that we're gonna to add to that one to equal 31. And here's what it looks like. We took out the 10, we subtracted the nine from that 10 and we got one, right? And then we still have the 30 left to put with that one to equal 31. So we're subtracting this from the 10 part and then we're adding everything else back in. 60 minus five. What do you think our first step is? What's our first step? Read the top. If you don't remember, we are taking out 10. We're taking out 10 to make it easier to subtract. Good job. So we're going to take out that 10. A 10 minus 5, we know. I say 5, you say 5. So we know that really, really quick. What's left? We still have 50 left because 50 plus the 10 would be the two numbers, like 30 plus 10 is 40. So 50 that's left, we're going to add what we took, what we ended up with from the subtraction back in and we get 55. OK, so if your brain doesn't think like a lot of people's brain doesn't think, whoa, 60 minus 5, well, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I can think that 5 less is 55. Bam, I know the answer. Some of you think like that and that is great. There's no wrong way to do math if you get the right answer. <laughs> so there's lots of ways to get the right answer, but some people will like this method and some people may not need this method, but it's just a method that we teach you to help you. Okay, so remembering with the picture here, what we did with 40, let's do 20 minus five. Some of you could blurt out the answer right away. You know the answer. Hold that answer and wait and let other people think. We don't wanna steal their education. We don't want to blurt out the answer. So first step, we are going to See me up here? We are going to take out the 10. 10 minus five is five, we know that. What's left? What are we gonna to add to this five to get the right answer? Hmm, yeah, we're gonna add that 10, the other 10 back in, cause 10 and 10 make 20, okay? 10 plus that five is 15. Let's do 80 minus six. First we're gonna, yeah, take out the 10. 10 minus six is, yeah, four, good job. And then after we took out the 10, you can see right here, eight tens minus one 10 is gonna be seven tens. Add that four back in and you have your answer 74. Ooh, look at this one, what's different? <sighs> Yikes, it's three numbers. Oh my goodness, what do we do? We're going to take out the 10. If you have 360, if 480, 520, we're just going to take out 10. We'll deal with what's left later. So we take out the 10. Minus 8 is 2. What do we have left? What is 10 less than 100? 
Well, if we would skip count or we would look at that picture where it has the tens, 10, 20, 30, we know that there are still 90 left. There's 90. So we're going to add that 2 to the 90, and bam, you have 92. This makes it easy. Taking out the 10 makes it easy. And if we were in class or you're at home and you're doing your exit ticket, draw your number bond. See over here with the 40 and the 30? Draw that out. Write out your subtraction. Add it to what's left. Circle it like I did. Take your pen. Ah! My hand's not real steady with this pen, but circle it. Take it over here. This is what we do in our classroom. Point to it. This is what this is. And then you're going to take what's left and you're going to add it in together and you're going to have your answer. Okay. So don't feel bad for writing it out. I write everything out. When I was in college, I used notebook after notebook to do my math. And it's okay because it helps your brain think. You remember things better if you write them down. You remember them better if you say them. If you act them out, sometimes we'll act them out. Take out the 10, you know, and it helps our brains remember. So it's okay, whatever method that we need, right? Okay, so here's your journal project for today or your journal assignment okay so your teacher might have these um, in your journal you may have a teacher that puts them on seesaw however you do it there's two problems simple on your exit ticket we just want to know if you get it draw your number bond write your subtraction from 10 write adding what's left on write it out that's what the room in the box is for okay and over here on your homework it shows you the first one so it shows you what to do it shows you down here also. So there's another page of homework. There's other stuff in your journal you can do. Please don't forget that there's all these activities online, super cool games, math playground, um, all kinds of different places you can go. Your teacher might assign you some also. There might be some in Google Classroom on Seesaw. There's videos about making 10. Just search up making 10 games, math games in Math Playground and there's a lot of cool games to play. So I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned a lot. If you didn't get it or if you don't remember, you can always go back and play this video again. And you learned how to take out a 10. You learned how to subtract from multiples of 10 and even from 100. So I'm super proud of you and I hope you had a good day. I had a good time and I will see you next time.